we can use the MIDI triggered artillery 2 CM effect to get a more complex rhythmic ducking technique than standard sidechain compression. For example, we can use it to change up rhythms like this. Drag the synth pad and kick drum track samples onto audio tracks in your door and add the artillery 2 CM effect onto the synth pad's audio track. The first thing to do in artillery 2 CM is to create a new effect. To do this, drag along the strip above the virtual keyboard. Now this creates a key zone that we can assign an effect to. Click where it says Select Effect and pick Amp from the list that appears. The Amp effect simply allows us to change the volume level and pan position of the input. Now by default the level parameters already selected. Um, we need to assign a modulator to this so click where it says Select Modulator and select LFO from the list of modulation sources. Okay, so we've set up the effect on the modulator, but you're not actually going to hear any difference to the sound until the effect is activated. For the moment, we can activate it simply by clicking the on button between the input and output faders. Now, with the default settings, you'll just hear the level fade up and down slowly. Set the LFO's rate to 1 over 8 and dr drag up on the wave selector to get the saw shape. On playback you'll hear the sound pump rhythmically but it's fading out rather than fading up. So to fix this change the level modulation amount from 25% to minus 25%. Currently the LFO is synced to the host tempo but it won't always trigger perfectly on the beat. To remedy this we need to set up a MIDI channel to trigger artillery 2CM. How you do this depends on your door but in live it's as simple as creating a MIDI track and then routing it to the desired input like so. The key zone we created earlier in Artillery 2CM runs from C1 to C5, so we can use any note in that range to trigger the effect. So let's use C2 for the moment. Create a long note that lasts for eight bars like so. Now, because the effect's MIDI triggered, it'll be the same every time and come in at the same point when the kick plays. So far so standard, you can do all this stuff with regular sidechain compression pretty much. But let's have a look at how we can use the power of Artillery 2CM to create an effect that's a little more interesting. Drag the right hand side of the key zone down to B2. Now drag on C3 up the right hand side of the strip to create a second key zone. Set this new key zone to AMP as well and set up an inverse saw modulation like before. Now this time, set the tempo uh, to 1 over 16 T. And go back to the MIDI part and change it so that you get one and a half bars on C2, then half a bar on C3 before it repeats. This will give you a psychedelic strobing effect created by the interplay between the rhythm of the ducking and the kick.